What are you going to do with $2 billion? Give me the gritty details of what that does for Redwood Materials. Well, this, this is a huge vote of confidence, I'd say, into the American supply chain and building the supply chain here, expanding the capacity of it here. Um, you know, it is a very capital intensive industry. And, you know, even though this is a, a vast, you know, amount, a large sum of money, um, this is not funding the entire project. You know, we have to match that project with private uh, capital, private equity that, that we raise and invest. And, you know, even, even with this large of a project, you know, we're still only meeting a relatively small percentage of the, the overall U.S. demand for battery materials. So it, it, is, uh, it is quite phenomenal how much uh, growth has to happen yes. into the future and how much investment has to happen. JB, you alluded to it, so I'll go there. Uh, $2 billion is a lot of money, but will you have to raise more funds and how will you go about doing that? We, we have raised a lot of private funding in the past through the history of, of our company and uh, will continue to. Um, you know, it, it, it does make it easier as we see this strong support and these strong indications of support from the federal government really for the first time in this sector. I mean, this, this is the very first federal funding that we've received um, of any sort. And uh, I believe some of the first federal funding that's, that's going into the battery supply chain at this magnitude. So while we will raise additional private capital and, you know, uh, continue doing that in, in, yeah. in turn, um, you know, it'll, it'll match with this and, and join with uh, federal uh, loans as well. Talk to us about the politicization to a certain extent of the federal loans, but ultimately people worry about not just how much due diligence is done in the companies that ultimately get the funding, previous uh, issues have been in the prior noughties, but talk to us about China as well. Is there reality to some of the concerns, particularly by the GOP, about that this gives in some way China access to such money? Well, I, I can definitely say firsthand that there is extensive diligence that goes into these programs. You know, we've been working on this, this particular loan application for well over a year, almost a year and a half, um, you know, and going through uh, multiple layers of diligence on finance, on technology, on market uh, and customer uh, you know, fit. So um, I, I feel that there is quite a robust process that the, the Department of Energy and the loan program has, has rolled out for this. And it's been refined over many years. As, as you, you mentioned, um, you know, even more than 10 years ago, the same exact program uh, was still in existence and was, was making loans to, to companies that, that targeted specific, very strategic areas for the country. Yeah. Solyndra, of course, is kind of the, the prior concern that some have. But give us the real concerns now in terms of a focus on a supply chain that people want to bring to the United States, that you're trying to answer that call of. And ultimately, whether we can ramp up the amount of EVs made while cutting out China from the supply chain. Well, I, I think it, it, it's going to be a transition. And, uh, you know, today, the, the vast majority of the battery supply chain is imported from overseas and much of that from China. So I, I think, um, you know, the key is to have is an organized transition and to start investing today in building this capability. But we can't turn it on overnight, even you know, with all of the efforts we're doing and, and more. Uh, this will take you know, several years, many years to, to ramp and, and build that, uh, that supply chain and capability here. But this is a, a huge economic incentive for the country. There are right. many, many billions of dollars uh, that would be exported overseas uh, to build the same supply chain uh, if we don't begin uh, the work now. Uh, JB, you talked about many years of planning. March the 1st, we get Master Plan Part 3 from your friend and former colleague, Elon Musk. Actually, is he a current colleague? Is Tesla a customer of Redwood Materials? Well, we, we don't have any partnership with Tesla that I can talk about today, but um, but I would say, you know, Elon is very much a friend. I'm still rooting for Tesla. Um, I think it's a fabulous company and, you know, they've clearly been the leader in this entire movement uh, and, and really remain so.